Hi, it's Eitan, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have my friend and neighbor, Mia, in the kitchen with me. Welcome to the kitchen. Hello, thank you for having me. Are you feeling confident? Because today... No, I'm not. I am challenging you to make eggnog. Have you ever had eggnog before? No, but it sounds perfect for you to make. Yes, so eggnog I'm excited. is a classic Christmas drink. I always say with you <laughs> who loves Christmas food. And eggnog is one of those. So, you have I'm everything in excited. front of you. These are all the right amounts of ingredients, except the spices. You can choose how much you want to spice your eggnog. You have all the equipment you need. And you're going to make me your eggnog. And then I'm going to make you my eggnog. So I figured you could start. Show off your color expertise. Why okay. not? Okay. I'm gonna start by pouring this in, I think. Mm -hmm. That just seems. Yes. Oh, the milk. Okay, talk. this is heavy cream and that's whole milk. These right. These are eggs. That means this is sugar. a lot to me. Yes, this that, is van <laughs> vanilla. Extract. No idea what that means. I'm still gonna pour this directly yes. into the bowl. Yes. I'm gonna crack all these eggs in. Oh, hopefully, mm -hmm. we don't get too many. Mm -hmm. Shells in there. Right in there. Um, I think we're supposed to use just maybe. Do you want to separate an egg white and egg yolk? Do I know how yet? So oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> to clarify, do you only need the egg yolk? So <laughs> you crack the whites in, but it was good. It's it's not going to ruin the whole thing. I've never heard of just the yolk actually. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you I'm go. just going to pour it into the yeah, bowl. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Oh. So do I need to keep doing this or does that look good? You're the chef here. I'm just here to help. Okay. What if it's on, it's on the stove, it like... Floats? No, it um, loses its flavor. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. I've never heard of that happening, but it could. Right. Possibilities honestly, are endless. It's honestly going better than I thought. I'm not gonna lie. Add the sugar right in there. Are you lying? I'm though? proud. <laughs> no, I am proud. I, this is going better than expected. Is it really? Yeah. I don't really know what the point of the stove is, honestly. I'm not sure what the consistency is supposed to be. Oh, okay, right into the water. Got it. That looks horrible. Yeah. Actually, it kind of looks like cinnamon toast crunch milk. It does. Yeah, like the bowl yeah. of the cereal. Yeah, if there was eggs in it. I think it looks fine. It kind yeah. of, it just looks like milk, it honestly, Reminds me of the holidays. Me. I think it's ready. Actually, oh. no, it's not ready. I want to pour th these ingredients in again and stir Got them it. in. Got it, okay, then, it, then it'll probably be ready. Yeah. This won't cause like an explosion, will it? Um, no. Not explosion. Food poisoning, potentially. Explosion, potentially. No. So now we have this, this kind of looks like brownie batter. Can you help me mix this in? Sure, nicely? I got it. <laughs> right, we'll just fold in our spices. Are they ready to try? Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. The food safety coordinator on set has asked us to check the temperature of this. Um, so, this is not safe to drink. All right, we have to heat this to 180. Typically, I try not to intervene, but um, I don't want us to get salmonella. Wow. Okay. Look at us. Much I better. don't think it's gonna taste so good, but it doesn't look horrible. I mean, you have- Do you have whipped cream? We do have whipped cream. Oh, whipped cream? All right, we'll we'll yes. some whipped cream. Do you have chocolate syrup? Um, yeah. I don't wow. know if that's classic, but sure. Who cares about classic? This is my first eggnog. There you Ooh. go. Whoa. It actually doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like, um, Hershey's, the Hershey's cookies and cream bars just melted up in a, in a cup. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wow. We are not kidding around with oh, our whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas yes. to everyone! And now for the swirl. Wow. This might be messy because I'm gonna try and make it look artsy. There we go. Cheers. Cheers to eggnog that might be cooked. I actually think it's really good. I'm not gonna lie. I actually think that that's pretty good. It's highly diluted, <laughs> but it has flavor. It has a lot of flavor. Rachel Olivia, do you wanna give this a try? Please come try this. Wow. Well, you're more than welcome to take from here if you don't mind this using This might be one of the straw. most successful <laughs> wow. attempts. Just for you. Yes, I must say, as Aton said, the whipped cream to eggnog ratio is it's incredible. It's, it's one to one. Wow. Yes. It's a little eggnog soupy, but I love, I yes. love. It's like hot cereal milk. It, it, but it, really but it, she it said it was good, like though, cereal right? milk. Like, it might not be like an eggnog, no, but it's it it's like pretty eggnog. good. No. It's eggnog adjacent. It is yeah. eggnog adjacent. That's what I was going to say. I'll yes. take it. Really, I'll take Honestly, it. I'll finish this. I'm not mad. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh. Come on. 
There you go. Yeah. Mia, incredible job with Thank your eggnog. You. Thank you. Thank you. Very successful. Cheers. We're gonna go reset the kitchen, and now I'm gonna show you how I make eggnog. Okay, I'm excited. Honestly, very similar to what you do without the wrong steps. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you how to make my eggnog. I'm making gingerbread eggnog, okay? It's honestly mm -hmm. very similar to what you made. I'm just adding a few little extra ingredients into okay. there. Now, um, you were actually pretty correct for a lot of your methods. So I'm gonna start by adding in my whole milk and my heavy cream into my pot. Perfect. Now, we're also gonna go in with our spices. So I'm gonna add a little bit of our cloves. Now I'm gonna add in some nutmeg, followed by some cinnamon. Nope, this is nutmeg. Hazel. Oh. Nope, not a hazelnut. <laughs> we were both wrong in this situation. I didn't add nutmeg yet. Grate in your nutmeg. A little bit, just like that. Now, do you know what these are? No. What is that? Vanilla. And then like you just scrape it out and on the inside, you will Ooh. find, check that out. So now we're gonna take those, we're going to very carefully add it right into this. will just add lots and lots of great flavor. Here, do you wanna to try to scrape this one out? Yeah. Right into there, and we're just gonna add this also in there for now to get even more Wait, flavor. it's so sticky. Oh, there you go. Oh, almost. Oh, wait. Not quite. There you go! Wow. Look at you. Okay. And then just here, then we'll very yeah. carefully just scrape that right in Perfect. there. We actually are only going to use egg yolks. Okay. Um, we do not need any egg whites, just egg yolk. Do you want to start helping me with this? Yes. Right here, you can well, do it on that them. side. Yeah. So we're going to do all these, the whites in here, and then the yolks right in there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, cracking egg yolks like this is a really inefficient method. There has to be, oh. I'm gonna get my own bowl for here. <laughs> Plop. Amazing. So I'm doing a little bit of a different method than I set up for you. I actually mm -hmm. set up for the most classic method. Um, okay. So you had what's called a double boiler. So you had a pot of water, and then what you're supposed to do is supposed to whisk it in a bowl, put it on top of the water, and whisk it so that it cooks the eggs like that. Okay. Um, you chose the artistic uh, direction of just putting it straight <laughs> into the water, um, which is why it did result in a pretty thin consistency. But. Um, Makes sense. I am for myself doing a less traditional method. So we're gonna add all our sugar, and then now I'm gonna also add in some molasses. This is a thick, sweet paste that's gonna add lots mm. of great flavor. Do you wanna whisk it up? Yes. Until fully combined, let's check on our milk. Looking good. Wow, eggnog so Oh, it easy, smells so good. Right? Yeah. Smells like molasses cookies. Wow. How's that look? That, um, looks... that looks good, keep going. I would say keep going. Let's this see looks how like um, how you make candy. Caramel? Like a hard candy that you put in the fridge. Like a second candy. Oh. That you make from scratch, I'm saying. It just looks like the base of it. Got it, noted. Okay. All right, so we're now gonna do what's called tempering our eggs. So can you keep on whisking this? And I'm going to slowly add this in. So what it's gonna do, it's going to slowly bring this up to temperature. Because you know like if you cook eggs, it will scramble? Yes. So if you add, like if you were just to pour this all in here, the heat of this would literally scramble this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but I don't like scrambled eggs in I drinks. also probably don't think I yeah. would. This looks like a huge bowl of chocolate milk. It's like tan. Maybe white chocolate milk? Caramelized chocolate milk. Mm, maybe it just looks like coffee. Sorry, I don't want to spill. There you go. Thank you for your whisking. Of course. We are now going to take this and we're going to pour it now back into our pot because we have now tempered our eggs. There we go. Only mm -hmm. a little bit of scrambled eggs on the sides. We're not going to tell anyone. Yes. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. You know, I feel like sometimes when I'm around non-Jewish people, I say Hanukkah. I also I know it's do, Hanukkah. because, no, because a lot of people then say, how do you, like, what are you saying with the Yeah, and then you have to teach them how to Yeah. You can't really, can you teach people how to Can you guys go Hanukkah? Hanukkah. 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 Shall we indulge? Shall we indu hmm? indulge? Shall we indulge in eggnog? Yes, Amazing. we should. Ready? All right, now we have more whipped cream application. Let's see how tall you can make this one. No! <laughs> Cheers we might to a, a Merry Hanukkah. I, I don't think we're gonna get to the drink. And a Christmas Sameach. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's so much better than mine. Isn't that mine. good? 
That is so wow. much better than mine. Mm. Now, what's really good about eggnog is actually if you, you can obviously drink it hot, but also if you put it in the fridge, it gets thicker, uh -huh. and then you can drink it cold. Oh, it's really? really good. Yeah. That's also a really great way to drink it, but I'm impatient, so we're drinking it hot. I, I got too excited. At least it tastes good. It tastes good hot. Well, Merry Christmas, It's Scott, the way everyone. of us celebrating Christmas without celebrating yes. Christmas. 10 out of 10. For sure. You should refrigerate this. Us two Jews don't know what we're doing. <laughs> But we're enjoying it, we're having fun. Ladle, 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 ladle I made it out of eggnog. Oh. That's all <laughs> oh, ladle, ladle, ladle. I made it out of play. When it's dry and ready, I'll get some eggnog out of the pot. Hey! hey! Happy holidays, everyone! Happy, happy holidays! Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to let us know by hitting the like button. Mm -hmm. Comment down below what is your favorite type of holiday food. We would love to know. If you want this recipe, which does say to fridge it, we're not gonna do that. Um, you can find it at etubernet.com. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed watching. Hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you haven't already, be sure to Go text someone that you love, let them know you can make them warm eggnog, yes. even though you're not supposed to. And we're just gonna keep drinking our warm eggnog. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sorry to say, but eggnog's also good warm. It is so good warm. It is good warm. Wow. I don't even wanna know what it's like cold. It's also really good cold, but, <laughs> you know. Mm. Wow. <laughs>